What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example. So during Jason's basketball season, he had a total of 230 points. He never visited the free throw line and hit 15 more threes than two point baskets. What percentage of his points came from three pointers? Okay, so if you're not familiar with basketball, basically a free throw shot gives you one point and then you have just regular um, two point baskets that are within the uh, three point line and anything outside of the three point line counts as three points. Okay, so we're told that he never visited the free throw line. So there were no one point baskets that he had all season. And we're told that he hit 15 more threes than two point baskets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce some variables. I'm gonna let X equal the number of threes or three point baskets that Jason made. And then Y is gonna equal the number of two point baskets or two point shots that he made. And now with this information, we got to create some equations. So let's say that he hit, for example, just to show you where we're going, let's say that he hit 10 threes and then let's say he hit eight two point baskets. Well, this is not the total number of points. This is the number of threes, the number of two point baskets. To get the total number of points, we'd multiply this by three, we would multiply this by two. So it would be 30 points and then 16 points. So then the total here would be 46. Okay, and that information is important when creating this equation because notice he had a total of 230 points. So you gotta be careful, it's not x plus y is equal to 230 because these are points, right? This is this, and then the x and the y, those are the number of threes, the number of two point baskets. So the correct equation in this case, the number of threes, which is x multiplied by three, because each of them is gonna have three points. And then the number of two point baskets multiplied by two, because each of those is gonna have two points, right? It's like three times that, two times that. And that's gonna be the total number of points right there. And then in the next sentence he says, or they say he never visited the free throw line and hit 15 more threes than two point baskets. So in this particular sentence, they're talking about the quantity of shots. They're not talking about the points, okay? They're not saying he had 15 more points with threes than two point baskets. They're saying he hit 15 more threes than two point baskets. Okay, so basically 15 more threes than two point baskets, meaning this number is higher than this one by 15. So we could say X minus 15 is equal to Y. Or another way is taking 15 and adding it to Y. Right, the number of two point baskets plus 15 would give us the number of three point baskets. And you could see that from here, you could just bring the negative 15 over and it would just be Y plus 15 is equal to X. So either or works, I'm gonna keep this equation over here. So you gotta be careful with a question like this, seeing when they're talking about points, then you gotta make sure this left side is um, in terms of points, right? If you have points, this has to be in terms of points. And then when they're talking about the actual quantity of shots made, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be basketball, it could be any kind of game. This is a popular kind of problem, right? So just make sure you're reading these very carefully when you're creating these equations. And now at this point, we can just solve, right? We can, we have two equations, two unknowns. Notice the y is already isolated. So I'm actually gonna just take this and plug it in for the y using substitution. So we'll have three x plus two bracket x minus 15 is equal to 230. Okay, so this we would have what? Uh, 3x, now this we gotta distribute, so two times x is two x, and then two times negative 15 is negative 30, 
is equal to 230. Bring the negative 30 over, bring all the numbers to one side, I'll keep all the variables on the other. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. When we bring the negative 30 over, 230 plus 30 gives us 260. Okay, and we want to get the x by itself, divide both sides by 5, divide this by 5, and we would end up with x equaling 50. So x equals 52, what did we let x equal? The number of three-point baskets made. Okay, so this here represents the number of threes. So let's actually write it over here. So this is 52. And then if we wanna get the number of two-point baskets made, and actually in this question, we don't even need to get that. I'm still going to, okay, just in case they ask for these but they're just asking what percentage of his points come from threes. So really all we have to do is take the number, multiply that by three, that's gonna be the total number of points that are coming from threes and then divide it by the total number of points of 230. But I'm gonna solve for y as well. You could take the 52, you could plug it in here, or you could plug it in here, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get the same y value. I'm gonna plug it in here just feel like there's less going on, so we'll have y equals x minus 15, so y would be 52 minus 15, which would give us, uh, what, 37? So 37 two-point baskets. And even though we're not gonna be really using this for the answer, you can use both of these to maybe at this point check your solution to make sure everything makes sense with the question. And notice that the number of threes is 15 more than the number of two-point baskets. So that sentence uh, checks out, 52 minus 37 is 15. And then let's see if the total number of points is going to be 230. So the number of points, the number of points from threes is gonna be what? The number of three-point baskets, right? That's the quantity times the number of points per basket. So 52 times three, which would give us 156. So 156 points come from threes. And then the number of points from the two-point baskets is gonna be 37 times two which would give us 74 points. And notice that when you add these up, right, 156 plus 74, you indeed get 230. Okay, so this is a nice way to check, but be careful, what are they asking for? What percentage of his points came from threes? So what we would do is we would take the points from threes, which is 156, and divided by the total. Right? That's how you would get the percentage. 156 divided by 230 would give you point approximately 678, I believe. That's in decimals. If you want to convert it to percentages, multiply it by 100. 67.8% of his points came from threes. A lot of times questions won't go this much into detail. They'll usually just ask for these values. Sometimes they'll even ask for these, but you got to read these carefully. They could really ask anything. They can maybe ask how many more points did he make with threes than with two point baskets? Then you would take the difference between those, for example. Okay, so they could ask anything with this information. So you have to be able to adjust accordingly.